Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Team Rainforest, as well as my forest. I'm Morning the U, and we stopped the last part in the middle of story progression. Well, let's ask the great wise sage of the pond about our new bit of info. Oh ho ho! You wish to hear me tell old folklore? What was that? You wish to hear the Nine Tails legend? Yes, yes I do. Oh ho ho! Fine then! Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales. Now Ninetales had many tales, all of them imbued with psychic power. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tale would be cursed for a thousand years. But there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail. And it was a human. A human. Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human was... The human that grabbed the nine tails tail was subjected to a thousand year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon, specifically Gardevoir and a human. I mean, black hole level shenanigans happen. Okay, but humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir? It asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human, and it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human turned into a Pokemon? And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? Ah, ha. Ah, you found it so interesting you're at a loss for words. Oh, ho, oh. ho. There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly some rumors say the legend may actually be true. But it is only ancient folklore, nothing more. If you feel the urge to hear my tale again, come see me. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. Well, that hit a bit close to home. I mean, we've seen visions of Gardevoir in our dreams. And we can't quite tell what they're saying. And who knows about us. Well, this raises a predicament. And I can't talk to campers about problems. But... You know what? We, we had to ask a question. That was important. What is this legend? Say, morning. Want to call it a day now? I can't seem to get motivated today. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done, but I just can't seem to get motivated. Guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, Kippers. Morning. Sorry. I started doubting you a little morning, but I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you. Because you're a friend like no other. Your friend. Like I'd never get again. Okay, morning. Let's do our best tomorrow, like always. Get some actual work done. And that's probably why we didn't get any mail from the post. Ooh. We haven't had a situation like this in a while. Hmm. 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 I thought my dreams would be a bit more vivid. Again? It's that dream again. I always see the silhouette. Who could it be? Oh, it's saying something. But I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello? Please tell me. You... Who are you? I... am... I am God of War. God of War? I'm so glad. Finally. I finally got to meet you. Finally met me? You knew me from before. What about me? I am your... Oh, wait. Just a little longer. 
Damn, I knew I should have gotten the better plan. Ah, I want to know more. No, it's fading. Damn you, consciousness. Uh, I, I dipped a bit into Kippers' voice there. Ah, what a strange dream. It's a dream I always have, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it, Gardevoir! It was Gardevoir. Yesterday, Whiskash said, Yes, a human! And one might expect the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a curse of a thousand years. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named God of War shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon God of War take the human's place? To God of War, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I... Maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. Yeah, this is getting a bit too, uh... Deep. Morning, morning! Oh! You look pale. Is something the matter? Well, anyway... As always, let's try to do our best. Oh yeah, when I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. Well, that sounds like a job for us. Besides, Pokemon Square is where all our stuff is. Okay. What, is everybody on holiday? Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Morning, let's check it out. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. What was true? The Ninetales legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Morning. Kippers. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out. Caterpie? Yes. Quiet. That guy there's telling us keep it down. Huh? Who's talking? It... It's... Gengar. G Gengar? So when I went up to the Hill of the Ancients... And that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you, Kike. Shocking stuff? This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. A Pokemon. It looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this. It was originally a human. What? It really existed. A human that turned into a Pokemon? There's more. Zatu told the human that how the human became a Pokemon was a lot to has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. It's exactly like the Ninetales legend. Kick yeah, yeah. Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there have been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen. To the world. That's what Zatu said, Kick yeah, yeah. What? The world? The unthinkable's going to happen? What are we going to do? That Gengar, he's deliberately working everyone up. Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, I think there's a way we can do something about this, Kike. But what can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon, then if that human is gone, then everything should return to normal. Correct? Th that's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that human is the rotten coward that could... that abandoned Gardevoir. Correct? I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right? 
morning. What? What? It it can't be. Y you you're that human? Is that true? Hey. Wait. This is like there's a good explanation for. We're not asking you. We're asking warning. Don't worry. I have a silver tongue with this. Depending on my courage. I have no clue how this will go down. Hey, morning. So what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? Oh, I'm completely silent for this. Silence. Morning. Morning. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, morning. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of morning and regain peace. Okay. <laughs> What? Uh, everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you going to do? Morning, forgive me. Oh, you don't want to do this. I can gun you all down quite easily. Except for the Kecleons. Kecleons are second. And only to the Grim Reaper themselves. What? What are you doing? What? Morning, run! Serves them right. Heck, 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 heck. Okay, we can't hide at the team base. We need to go underground. Wow, that was a real shock. I never expected everyone to attack us like that. But listen, morning. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? You should have said you're not the human that appears in the Legend of Nine Tales. Listen, hippers. Uh, what is it? Want to end the team? What's the matter? What makes you say that all of a sudden? Give up on our rescue team? It's not like you to say that morning. Is something the matter? Is it the ra massive amount of debt we're in to the Mafia? What? Uh, you had a dream. And Gardevoir appeared in it? And that made you think that you might... That maybe you were that human after all? So, that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen... Morning. Did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what really happened. I I have faith in you, Morning. You know that? So... Oh. We're in a bad way. After that scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting. Oh. What we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding! I was incredulous too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but it is unfortunate. We will defeat you with all our might. Okay. I have this down for one of them. The others? Kippers, I'm going to need you to take on Charizard. I might be able to hold off the Alakazam. Wait, we're fighting here? Run. We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase and attack you without hesitation. Not just you. Anyone that goes with morning will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. That goes for us too. We will join the hunt to get rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Alakazam! There will be m no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Okay, Kippers. Hit the Molder back's turn and then run. Morning. In their own way, Alakazam's team has faith in you. Didn't I say this before? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll always have faith in you, Morning. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be scared. What good will it do if we... If you don't believe in yourself, Morning? Morning. Caterpie. Morning. I made a promise, remember? That we would make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Morning. Don't give up. You're a hero to me. I believe in you, too. So, what do you say, Morning? 
Okay, I won't give up. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. And the happy music returns. That's what we expect from our morning. We'll have to leave for the time being. But let's be sure to come back. And we'll bring the truth back with us. Yep. Sadly, all that money, all those items, they're locked away. Okay. Coast seems clear. Morning, morning. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? All set. Yep, looks like we're ready. From now on, we're fugitives. This is going to be a dangerous trip. I don't want to get our team members involved. Let's not tell them. We'll just leave by ourselves. We have to get away from the rescue teams hunting us. We have to get away at all cost. Yes, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said that time. A few seconds ago. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Yes. Who am I? Until I discover that truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay, let's get going. Morning. Friends. Caterpie and Metapod 2. Oh, and even Jumpla. Wow, I'm glad we made it. We wanted to see you off, morning. Me too. Good morning. It's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off too. Everyone. Hey, Pelper. Got my mail. Oh, by the time we get back, the mail's going to have piled up. We're going to have so many unpaid bills. It's a letter. Morning, can you read it? Morning began reading the letter. Take care. It's farewell, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again. I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. Even Pelipper. Everyone, thank you. The other Pokemon will be here soon. You have to go. Hurry. Yep. Morning. Let's go. Hit the road. Take care. Wrong voice. We'll be waiting for you here. Yep. Thank you. We'll be back. That's for sure. Take care until then. Thus began Morning's cruel and arduous journey as a fugitive over forbidding mountains. Wow, aren't these fissures amazing? Across fields of fire. This environment is out of con- The environment is out of control here too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's painful for me. The forest fire is still raging. No, not the forests. I live there. But throughout it all, Morning's team kept their heads held up high. Without a complaint, they marched on, a single apple between them. I still have my power band. Yep. Phew. We've sure traveled a long way. But while we were moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been afflicted by the natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. I wish we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away now, period. Huh? I hear voices. I think they went this way. They can't get away, not from all of us. We have to get rid of Morning, quickly. Ah, uh, no. Are they catching up to us? Morning, we better go. Lapis K, B1F. Yep, this is this is going on for a while, but I'm actually going to call it a part there. So, uh, thank you all for coming down to my neck of the woods. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Team Rainforest Edition. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Farewell.